Aurora police knew their colleague was drunk when they found him blacked out behind the wheel of his patrol car on duty. They even said so. That was captured on newly released body camera. The officer kept his job after a demotion and the police chief in Aurora has defended the other officers who made sure that the case was not handled as a drunk driving investigation. Here's Noel Brennan. It's the middle of the afternoon on March 29th. 911, what's the address of the emergency? And there's a Ford Taurus in the middle of Mississippi Avenue. There's a guy passed out in his car, it looks like, in the median. One woman calls 911, and then another. 911, what's the address of the emergency? The car is not moving. I pull over, there's a vehicle that's um, kind of in the middle of the road, um, and there's a man inside who's not, not responsive, and it's a police officer. It's a police officer? So where exactly it's are you? It's a police officer. Let me see. Okay, yeah, I'll let you in. Uh, Aurora police officer Nate Meyer right there, we got oh, you. Hold on, he might have is a... passed out drunk. Sure have... Even as an officer leans over broken glass in the passenger seat, starts to remove his jacket, and reaches for his duty belt, Meyer doesn't seem to move. He remains slumped over, chin to his chest, hand still on the wheel of his unmarked patrol car. Where's this duty arm? We got it. Okay. Three of the officers on scene say there was a faint smell of alcohol on Meyer's breath. Yeah, bro, uh, be good. They didn't know at the time his blood alcohol level was more than five times the legal limit. He's, uh, he's a little intoxicated. Fellow officers didn't ask for a blood test. Meyer was not charged, and he's back on duty, like he was on that day in March. Snow Bren reporting. Aurora Police Chief Nick Metz is pretty smart to frame this issue as one of compassion for the officer who took responsibility for alcohol abuse. And that compassion is admirable, necessary even, because as Chief Metz notes, law enforcement officers are subjected to high levels of trauma. They need support if addiction or mental health struggles come as a result. Now, you can argue about whether that particular officer who was blackout drunk and armed behind the wheel of a patrol car deserves a second chance. but. It's not an unreasonable discussion to have. We are still, though, left with the fact that the Aurora police officers who responded smelled alcohol, noted that their blacked out colleague was intoxicated, that those officers did not have his blood alcohol level tested. They knew what that meant. Their decision ensured that prosecutors would not have the evidence if prosecutors wanted to charge their fellow officer. Other law enforcement officers, including Larimer Sheriff Justin Smith, have suggested that those actions and Chief Metz's defense unfairly cast doubt on other law enforcement officers. All law enforcement officers know that discretion, like public trust, has its limits. Subscribe to the next YouTube channel for the best of next and some other stuff.